I'm here with Pelicans GM Trajan Langdon. We're approaching the draft. Can you give me a 30,000 foot view of the draft process? That's where we're going 30,000. 30,000, like within the last week? Or are we talking like the whole <laughs> year? The whole thing. The whole thing. Okay, 30,000 pretty quickly. So um, obviously we have draft that's stateside, or prospects that are stateside, and then you have international prospects. So we have, we have an international division of scouts that are responsible for prospects that are all around the world, Europe, Asia, going down to Australia, um, up in Canada. Uh, and then obviously we have all the schools that are here uh, in the NCAA. Obviously Division One is what we really concern ourselves with. So we have West Coast Scouts, we have East Coast, Coast Scouts, we have Scouts in Texas, um, and Bryson Graham oversees all of that. Mm -hmm. um, he and I both oversee the people, um, our international scouting division that oversees the rest of the world. Um, and Bryson runs point on all this. They do a fantastic job. Um, and throughout the year, they're obviously scouting, whether it be live or by tape, all of the players all around the world. And then we'll funnel them, try to decide what are the top 60 guys over the process, course of the year. A lot of meetings, a lot of discussion, uh, and then they'll filter down to a top 60. And then we come together here now and uh, really try to finalize not only who the top 60 are, but in what rank, what order. We got all our scouts in last week. so. Um, that becomes a lot of fun debates and, and uh, good dinners, um, good meetings. So that, and, and then we kind of finalize maybe between one and two spots here in, in the week after, um, after they come in because some things do change in that, those four or five days. But, um, you know, and during that process, I'm, I work hand in hand with Bryson throughout the entire year. So, uh, but he, he and our group have a, do a fantastic job and are a lot of fun to work with. What are some of the things that you're evaluating when you're looking at a particular player? Um, I think first and foremost, the, the person, the character of, of that prospect. Um, how are they going to fit into our, our environment, into our culture? Um, the one that we have not only as an, as an organization, but it's Willie Green and his staff to develop as, as a team. Uh, I think it's, we want high character guys, first of all, um, that are going to come in and fit and understand the role. Um, and then there's, there's, we want guys that play hard and compete. I think those are, those are things that really stand high. Um, and then when we're evaluating talent, they're going to have to be a certain particular skill level that we're looking at that they're going to have to either be at or that potentially we think they can get to. How much does that change throughout the year, depending on how well the Pelicans do, yeah. where you fall in the lottery, what pick you're going to end up with? Well, obviously the skill the skill set and the potential has to be super high if you're, you know, a top four or five mm -hmm. pick in the draft because you're looking at a, a game and a franchise changer, hopefully. Um, you know, it wasn't until a couple weeks before the end of the season that I honestly started getting out and scouting some top ten talent because before that, yeah, we figured that our pick might be gone and if it wasn't gone and it was going to be further down in the draft, there was really no need for me to scout top seven guys. But then as things started changing and obviously the Laker pick became more of something that could happen. I, I got out a little bit later and checked some boxes that I hadn't before. So, um, you know, that came to fruition. It was very lucky for us. So, eight we're seeing as a guy that could come in and help um, right away. There could be that possibility or it could be a possibility where we don't need him and, and uh, we could go for a kind of more of a swing and a guy that we could take our time with. You don't have to say any names or positions or anything specific <laughs> for this draft. Yeah. What do you think the Pelicans could use yeah. heading into this next season? Um, well, one, I think at, at number eight, we're gonna get a player that we like. Um, we're gonna get a high character young man, um, for sure. Um, we want him to be, we want him to play hard. We want him to compete. Some of the same exact things that I talked about. I think size, we're gonna get somebody with size that we like. Um, and the potential to develop into, you know, a versatile and skilled player. Mm -hmm. And I think of the many players that we're looking at, it fits, it checks, he checks all those boxes. So we're really excited about uh, our position at eight heading into the draft. I really appreciate the time. Thank you for giving right. some insight into what a Pelicans draft looks like. Yeah, absolutely, thank you.